and uh, John Cena on Howard Stern and Randy Orton for Sports Illustrated. A bunch of guys had things to say about Vince McMahon. And uh, I guess we can start with John Cena. A lot of people uh, have a lot to say about this one. He said, and I quote, I can say this. I'm a big advocate of love and friendship and honesty and communication. But in the same breath, I'm also a big advocate of accountability. I think you explain it well. If someone's behavior lies so far outside your value system, then the balance shifts of like, I can't operate in a world where this works. That's the end result of being accountable. He said, right now what I'm going to do is love the person I love, be their friend. And by that, it means like, hey, I love you. You have a hill to climb. There's a saying of you don't know who your friends are until the shit hits the fan or your back's against the wall. That doesn't make any of what's going on any easier to swallow. But just telling somebody like, hey, I love you, man. This is going to be a hill to climb. We're going to see what happens. And that's that. Yeah, I, I actually listened to the whole thing in context and... um the best person on that was Howard Stern. He went into a big speech about how, you know, people he's known have, you know, things have come out about them and, you know, basically said that, you know, it's it's it, it, it's it's a mind fuck is what he said. Because, like, what do you do when your friend, they've been your friends, and then all of a sudden you find out this stuff about them. And he said that in some cases, when you find out the stuff is really bad, you just can't have anything to do with them you know he says there's a line and you know in some cases you can still be their friends but in some cases you just can't and then he asked john cena about it and uh that was what john cena said and um no compassion towards the victim at all and um i thought it came off um you know i mean it's it's a weird thing because you know i can remember when the Cosby stuff first broke and all the people who were like in his TV cast and the people who, you know, had known him and were friends with him were so defensive of him. And, you know, there's no defense, you know, I mean, like, especially in his case, because there were so many. And in this case, it's, you know, it's the same thing. You know, I mean, I'm not saying it's the it's as bad necessarily or not as bad, but it's the same thing. It's it's really um it's really bad stuff and you know john cena just um you know he's the team player and he's going to say that i was not surprised in the least that he said it but um i thought it came off very badly and um orton you know i mean it was funny because people are going like oh you know randy orton came off good and it's like he really didn't but compared to john cena he did so because of that such a low bar that John Cena set. Um, Randy didn't come off nearly as bad. I mean, the Sports Illustrated quotes for Randy weren't too bad, but the New York Post quotes, you know, and, and Randy was doing uh, press because uh, the A and E thing, um, you know, debuts this coming week, this coming Sunday. There's an A and E biography on Randy Orton, which is which I understand is actually very interesting. You know, it talks about a lot of the stuff. You know, when he was younger, and and you know the suicide he attempted and um just a lot of the problems that he had in wwe you know and so i mean they, they do address a lot of that stuff in there but you know he also um you know when it you know i mean his his thing was is uh, well, i actually got the quotes right here so he had for, two for the new york post yeah he said i've seen the horrible things online but I don't want to believe because this man has done so many things for me. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been given second and third chances in WWE and probably fourth and fifth. I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now if it wasn't for that man. So part of me wants to not believe it. And then the other part of me understands that he could have done all these wonderful things for me in the business and created this amazing thing that will go on and on well after he's gone. But on the other hand, he's human and he made some fucking terrible mistakes. He says there's three sides to every story, their side, the other side, and the truth. I think a lot more has to come out before I can really speak on any of this. I think that would be the case for any talent that you ask. But I do know about Vince McMahon, the man that I've known for the past 24 years personally. I owe him for everything he has done for me. I say that with conviction because I wouldn't be in this position without a lot of help from him. But if these allegations are true, it's some horrible shit right there. I'm torn. It's hard. And then for Sports Illustrated, he said, I've got to say this. I wouldn't be where I am without Vince McMahon taking a chance on me a handful of times. I wouldn't be where I am today without Vince, but fuck, I'm reading this shit. What you've seen in red, I've seen in red as far as commenting on that. It fucking hurts my heart. It hurts my head. So that was Randy Orton's comments about Vince. Yeah. yeah. Again, no sympathies for the victim. 
Um, and in, in the case of, you know, and when I say victim, I actually should use plural because obviously there's far more than one victim here. There's the victim that everyone's read about, but there's other victims too, many others. And um, so I, I, again, I will say this when he said like, you know, if you talk to the talent, they'll, they'll all say about the same thing. It's like, I've been in contact with a lot of the talent and they're not defensive of Vince like this. Um, of course, they're not saying anything publicly, and they're not saying anything for attribution. And maybe if they did, they they would. Um, but I just know that um, you know it's it's you can read it, and you know yeah, of course, there's two sides to every story. But there's stuff that's right there. You know, it's, it's right there in black and white. I mean, and you, it's it's stuff that you you just can't overlook. And um, you know, they're both put in a bad place. They're not going to say they, they're. They're going to be defensive of, of, you know, of him. I mean, one of the things that I thought was interesting with Orton, and it, it goes with like a lot of the wrestlers, and it's true, everything that he said, you know, is in the sense that he gave you second and third and fourth chances and all that. You know what he did? And this is a lot of the things that like the big difference between um, wrestlers and, you know, athletes is that wrestlers think that they are nicely given chances, and to a degree it's true. The reason Randy Orton got second, third, and fourth chances wasn't because Vince McMahon, you know, liked him. It was because he thought he could make money with him. And because, because Randy Orton had talent. And you know you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it's like a football coach. And if there's a player who is a marginal player and he screws up he'll be cut if there's a player who's like a freaking superstar player they're gonna get chance after chance after chance and I mean you know you can name football players that were great football players that did some pretty horrible things that got chance after chance and it wasn't due to the generosity or niceness of the owner or, or being forgiven it's because the guy was a freaking great football player and and you know, and people will bend over backwards because of your talent. And I mean, that's the thing with Randy Orton is it's like, yeah, he got chances because they bent over backwards because of his talent and his look. And it's 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 not like, oh, you know, he's been so magnanimous to me because the reality is, is that like when Randy Orton, let's just say, um, especially if, it, you know, when when Randy Orton, you know, was given chance after chance, and when he was failed the drug tests, and they changed the rules, the Randy Orton rule, you know, where now all of a sudden three is three strikes isn't out anymore like it used to be. Um, you know, the reason that they did that was because they didn't want Randy Orton going to TNA, just as an example, which was their whatever. You know, their adversary wasn't a strong adversary, but it was an adversary at the time. You know, it's like that's why they did it. They didn't do it out of you know, niceness to Randy Orton. They did it out of um, the fact that Randy Orton was a really talented guy. And, you know, a, a lot of these guys, it's like, oh, Vince gave me a chance. And it's like, yeah, he did because you could draw money. You know, it's 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 like, again, like a star athlete in, or a star um, entertainer. You know, if you're a, if you're a promoter and uh, a guy can draw money in concerts all over, He's going to get away with a hell of a lot, and they're going to bury things, and they're going to bend over backwards for him because he's got talent, you know? And, and like, with Orton, you know, if it wasn't for this and this, you know, if it wasn't for, you know, ever some, look, Jeff Hardy's a perfect example of this. If, if something like this happens, you know, and you don't get a chance and you go too far, what's going to happen? The other company's going to sign you in a heartbeat because that's how wrestling works. With, with the CM Punk, Jeff Hardy, anytime Bruiser Brody, anytime this stuff happens, that's what the wrestling business is. And in enough time, if he had gone to TNA and gone there for, you know, a couple of years or he had screwed up in TNA or something like that, Vince would take him back. I mean, Jeff Hardy's, again, is the perfect example of all of this. You know, it's these these you know it's the fact that you're talented and 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 not even talented well i mean there is talented but the fact there's a lot of guys that are talented that aren't draws but um if you're talented enough that people will react to you at that level so um but you know that's different that's a different situation but uh yeah that's as far as the quotes go sure you know um but again you know it's just like oh i'm so sorry about vince 
It's like, that's not the guy you should be sorry about. Or the guy they're given, you know, well, I, st I, I mean, I can see I don't want to believe it. You know, if, if I had a friend like that, I wouldn't want to believe it in people. Like I said, the Cosby example is the perfect example. It's like all those people back Cosby until you just couldn't anymore. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.